Hello, this is Gaurav Nayar and welcome to this Solid Principle series. Today, we will begin with defining the SRP, which is Single Responsibility Principle. We'll demonstrate some of the problems when classes have too many responsibilities. And then we will look at an example in the code that shows how a typical messenger application might be worked out that exposes a problem with responsibility. And later, we will refactor the sample application to apply SRP so it has a better and more maintainable design. And we will describe some related fundamentals. We'll begin with the single responsibility principle. There should not be more than one reason for a class to change. So this statement was given by Uncle Bob, uh, where it's, uh, he says, you should not have a reason uh, more than one reason uh, for a class to change okay we have a wikipedia uh, definition the single responsibility principle states that every object should have a single responsibility so that's why it is named as single responsibility principle and responsibility should entirely be encapsulated by the class so we'll take this example of the pocket knife this particular pocket knife has been extended to a point where it can do nearly anything except maybe fit it into your pocket and as opposed to demonstrate just because you can doesn't mean you should and same applies to our software de uh, design uh, when we actually plan to design our classes this relates to the concept of cohesion and coupling we want to strive for cohesion, but also for loose coupling. Cohesion is basically how strongly your objects are related and focused are the various responsibility of a module. And coupling is defined as the degree to which each program or module relies on each one of the other module or classes relies on each of the other module. So as I mentioned, we should strive for low coupling and high cohesion. So basically responsibilities when we talk about classes are defined as axis of change. So when it happens, requirement changes typically map to responsibilities. So when you have more responsibilities for any class, then there are chances that it will change. Okay, so when we say a object is doing multiple tasks, then there are multiple ways or multiple reason which will reflect to the object to behave to the change. And that is what single responsibility principle avoids. So having multiple responsibility within a class couples together these responsibilities. The more classes a change affects, the more likely the change will introduce error. So if you have uh, content at one place or your class is doing single uh, uh, responsibilities it is only a single functionality then there are less places from where the error can be initiated so since it is the object is doing one type of uh, behavior you know when the error comes you have to deal it and or correct it there but if multiple responsibilities are there it will become difficult to trace back where the error has got introduced so demo we will see one example with too many responsibilities so we have a uml diagram where i have a messenger app and assume this my view controller has an api exposed which says get all conversations okay and it internally has three methods which one is request data from api pass data and save to db and then it will in return gives the data to view controller so if i excuse me if i see my conversation data controller it is actually doing three tasks one is requesting the data from api parsing the data saving to the db and the fourth task basically giving back all the conversation back to the view controller okay since all these operations are being happening within the class it is not going in line with the srp single responsibility principle how we can avoid this i would like to show you in the code so i have a conversation data controller 
see this as a class and have a function which gets all the conversation so it actually requests data from api parse and create conversations from the object so here the parsing is happening and then you have a diff another function what it does is saving to the database so when we spoke about coupling the it's very tightly coupled we'll go down when when we'll start uh, getting into the different design principles uh, which are left out by now we will see like why we don't want to couple it and how it will avoid so coming back to single responsibility principle it says the task getting from api should be handled by a different class so the class which is requesting data from api has a single responsibility of getting data from the api and then you should have a separate factory class which will do your parsing and get you the conversation object okay and when you wanted to save to the database you use abstraction to save the save it to the database again do it on the different class okay and now if i go how i will be having my structure is i i will have different classes one is net api core conversation factory and core data controller which is handling the, these are the classes now function so every class has a single responsibility so now my conversation data controller will look something like this it will have one method and then this method will have an object to the specific class and uh, uh, getting the json data in the first place from the net api core then conversations it will have a conversation factory which will pass the data and then saving the data to the core data if i'll go back and see this diagram where like conversation data controller being a single class having multiple functions how we actually uh, went with the srp single responsibility principle we made the conversation data controller to just to get us the conversation where the api responsibility we have given to different class passing the data to a different class and saving the data to the different class please let me know in the comments if you have any questions related to srp i would love to assist that and make sure to hit the subscribe button if you are interested in the same set of videos thank you very much i would love to see you in my next tutorial till then bye bye see you